Brady Seals with Music City Pickers. Uh, we buy, sell, and trade vintage guitars. And uh, today I'm going to show you how we ship a guitar. It's certainly not the end all, but this is how we like to do it uh, to make sure that uh, the guitar or instrument or whatever arrives safely to you. Uh, so basically what we have here is a, just a regular uh, Gibson electric case. Uh, you can, uh, the, the, the technique that I'm getting ready to show you, you can do it with electric, with acoustic, um, a mandolin or whatever, it still works. So uh, basically what we like to do is we like to make sure that the inside of the guitar uh, case is packaged up really well. Basically, you take uh, the normal bubble wrap that you can uh, order from Uline or uh, you know Home Depot or Lowe's or Office Depot or anything like that. We prefer to do it with Uline simply because it's a little cheaper. But we also uh, you know, we also do a lot of um, uh, packaging all the time. So. This guitar has already been tuned down, so I would certainly recommend tuning down simply because um, you don't want uh, you know, the tension of the strings to break the neck or anything like that in transit. So basically, uh, we've just wrapped it up real well. We just make sure that this doesn't move in there. This particular case is really good, but the guitar is not moving anyway. We always like to wrap up, uh, wrap up the headstocks really well, especially on Gibson Les Paul, because they have a tendency to break um, just the way that they're angled. So, uh, so there you go. We just kind of get it all tight in here. Nice and good. It's not wiggling at all. Okay? Then we shut her up. Okay, the next thing we do, we get our box. And again, we order these from Uline, but you can also get them uh, at your local uh, guitar store. Uh, sometimes they just uh, they have so many of them that they just want to get rid of them anyway. And you can get uh, you can get used ones uh, from uh, just about anywhere. I'd like to wrap it all the way around here, around the sides, in case it does taste case or the, or the box does get wet, that uh, it's not going to seep in from the bottom. Okay? So there's that. And then what we like to do, get some peanuts, fill up the bottom about an uh, inch and a half, two inches, something like that. And uh, of course, you can get these peanuts in all different kind of sizes and shapes and what have you. You can get them uh, where it's uh, environmentally friendly. There you go. Do that. Okay, and that, as you can see, there's just a little bit left on the top of where we can put some peanuts. Pack it down in there, and then what we do? We basically, take some more peanuts and we just basically fill it up. Fill the top and sides. We like to get down on the sides of it as well. Now, a lot of people don't like peanuts, you know, but for those that are wanting to save a little bit of extra cash when it comes to um, shipping a guitar, this is certainly the best way to do it, especially with all the shipping that we do. Okay. Okay. So basically, you fill it up. I'm not going to fill it up right now, but basically, you fill it all the way up. And then what we like to do is just take a little bit of bubble wrap on the top. And, if, and uh, Depending on the size of the case, sometimes the cases are smaller than this. So if the case is smaller, you know, you have a little bit more room to do like maybe some peanuts and bubble wrap. So what we're going to do is we're going to do bubble wrap up to the top. And 
okay? And then, when we close it, we like to shake it. All we're hearing is the handle, but if the thing is moving around in there, then you still got some packing to do. All we're hearing is handle, so we're okay. So basically, you uh, do the top of it just like you do the bottom. There you go. Make sure that you have priority uh, tape or stickers put on there. You can also do fragile stickers, stuff like that to make sure that, uh, that the carriers are uh, very careful with the guitars. So that's it. That's how we do it around here.